hello guys uh, welcome back to tech Pretel. so today in this video tutorial we will see uh, how we can install nop commerce which is asp.net open source cms for your shopping cart on our local machine so uh, in this video tutorial uh, we will go through all the steps of uh, uh, installing the nop commerce uh, on your local machine so uh, first of all uh, to download the source code of nop commerce visit the site that is nopcommerce.com and there uh, on the download click on download nop commerce right so you can see here that uh, uh, in download and install manually there are uh, different uh, version of nop commerce one is with the source code uh, where you can uh, create uh, or update uh, any component and the second is without source code and third is uh, like uh, if you want to upgrade the latest uh, version to the nop commerce then you can uh, also download the upgrade script and if you want to uh, download the previous version of uh, nop commerce then uh, the archive of all these release is located on github so you can click here and uh, this will basically uh, redirect you to the github website where all previous uh, version of nop commerce uh, are located so you can download any version from here for this uh, video i have downloaded the version 4.00 and uh, after downloading uh, this version uh, i have just uh, unzipped the folder and you can see here that uh, this is your item so we can see here like uh, this is the nop commerce release version 4.0 so i uh, just unzip this folder here and uh, here you can see under the src folder uh, there is the uh, visual studio solution of uh, nop commerce so uh, i have opened this in Side the Visual Studio 2017. So after opening, you have to just uh, uh, reveal the solutions, and uh, as I have done already, this all activity, and you can see here that uh, now the reveal is succeeded here. Now for the backend, uh, as we are uh, going to use SQL Server, so we have to create a new SQL uh, database. So just log into your SQL Server and uh, then you can create a new database so i have created a blank database with the name nop commerce here for the backend so just open your visual studio now and uh, you select the option from here browse with and click on browse here so our project is now uh, launching inside the google chrome browser so it will take uh, some time for the home page to display on the web browser so we have to wait for that particular time Yes, here you can see that uh, uh, this is the NOP Commerce uh, installation page and uh, now there is a different uh, detail which we have to uh, set up for uh, a new NOP Commerce website. So the first of all is like your store information. So this is your admin user email. So you can uh, update this email here and this is admin password so we can set any password here again now uh, here you can see a checkbox like uh, create a simple uh, data for your uh, new and op commerce website so you can uh, check this if you want to create the simple data now next is database information first is uh, use built-in data store storage and the second is use sql server now as we are using sql server so uh, 
we have to enter the detail about the server and uh, for that just open your browser here go to the properties yes this is your server name so just copy the name of the server from here okay and next is your like uh, database name and uh, you can see that uh, the name of database is NOP commerce so we will enter NOP commerce share like next is your uh, authentication as uh, we have logged into the server using SQL server authentication so we have to enter the username and the password here and then click on install now it is just uh, going to install the NOP commerce so it will take uh, two or three minutes depending upon your uh, internet speeds as it will also create the simple data so we have to wait for uh, that particular time here you can see that uh, now uh, NOP commerce is installed on our uh, local machine with the sample data uh, you can see here the sample data uh, if you want to uh, open the database then you can also see if you will uh, just uh, uh, refresh the database node here and if you uh, expand the node of NOP commerce database then you can see here that uh, A table uh, has been created for uh, the NOP commerce website so guys uh, using uh, all these steps uh, uh, you can host a NOP commerce website on your local machine hope you like this video thanks for watching